Working on data science projects in Python, it's almost impossible not to end up needing to use NumPy, either directly through its functionality, or indirectly through the various libraries, frameworks, and packages that make up the NumPy ecosystem, such as Pandas, SciPy, Scikit-Learn, and Matplotlib. There are several factors that make NumPy so popular for data science and scientific computing in general. The fast, efficient, multidimensional array data structures, as well as the ability to use them to vectorize mathematical operations instead of executing them on individual elements, obtaining further increases in performance. The most critical functionality within NumPy is implemented in the C programming language, which is orders of magnitude faster than Python. The rich collection of statistical and mathematical algorithms and the techniques bundled with the NumPy package. And also because it's easy for developers and researchers to use NumPy, due to it being open source, free to embed in both public and commercial projects, being able to run on most popular operating systems and devices, environments and hardware, as well as having an intuitive syntax and comprehensive online documentation. Many statistical, mathematical and scientific problems benefit from representing data as large multidimensional arrays of elements which can be sliced and diced, filtered, reshaped, described using summary statistics, or used in linear algebra operations such as matrix multiplication. The data structure used to provide all of this functionality is the ND array, which stands for n-dimensional array. When compared with built-in Python data structures such as lists, NumPy arrays have by design a few limitations such as being fixed in size when created and supporting only elements of the same type. There are two main concepts behind NumPy's performance improvements that is vectorization and broadcasting. Vectorization refers to the fact that operations on multiple ND arrays are performed directly at array or vector level using C-optimized functions instead of using loops and indexing to iterate over each individual element. Vectorization also makes the code shorter, easier to write and maintain, since the focus is on the higher level mathematical operations that are being performed rather than under low level implementations. Broadcasting refers to the element-wise operations that happen automatically when leveraging vectorization to perform an operation on two ND array objects. The two arrays on which the operation is being performed must have compatible shapes so that the operation performed on them has mathematical sense. Broadcasting can also happen when one of the two objects is a scalar and the other one is an ND array. Each NumPy array is essentially a grid data structure containing objects of a certain D-type. The shape of the ND array is a tuple with n integer values, each one representing the number of elements along each dimension. To create a NumPy array and show its properties, we simply import NumPy, create a one-dimensional array, and show its shape using the shape property. We can also create multi-dimensional arrays using nested lists and show their shape, as well as their D-type, which in this case is an integer.